are you guys? Good, thanks. I'll wait for you to adjust your cameras and then I'll move. <laughs> so. I guess we asked a question that... Oh, okay. Oh, uh, should I ID myself and then we'll go? Sure. Sure. Uh, Dennis Heaton, executive producer and writer for Ghost Horse. I, th I think the you know the thing that well the thing that drew me to writing for this show uh, that really got me excited to want to get on board with Simon was the fact that um, you know when we were dealing with a show that was just going to be ghosts so we weren't getting into the thing of like it was going to be you know multiple monsters and you know it's like there's ghosts here and now there's like you know you know elves and fairies and vampires and werewolves we're staying very much in the realm of this is you know this is a supernatural show and they're very intimate stories so despite the fact that it's like a uh, you know there's a series arc and you know there's like an ensemble cast each sort of it's almost like a combination of, of anthology with with a regular uh, sort of horror series that has this through line from episode 1 to 13 there's also you know each character almost gets their own intimate haunting because you know ghost stories are a very personal thing so it's kind of you know and that was the big problem we had when we first sat down, it was like, Ghost Wars, what the fuck is that going to be? I mean, it's like, is it going to be like, you know, like, ghosts with guns, or or like, we're going to see like, you know, they're, they're you know, we're going to have like some scene where, you know, meets yelling, they're flanking us! You know, and, and so it was like trying to figure out, you know, what, you know, how they were going to hurt us, and what they were going to be after, and stuff like that. So after we sort of locked all that down, you know, we made sure that we were locking down something that would give us a lot of, you know, life to the show, but also that was very very personal for us, so that we could uh, we could connect to it. So. Uh, definitely whenever we're dealing um, you know whenever we're dealing with First Nations aspects and stuff like that um, you know we want to make sure we're being as uh, um, oh God what's the word I'm looking for we don't want to piss them off uh, you know and the best way to do that is to involve them in, in, in the stories and in the show so when we do get into that that kind of realm we make sure you know we're not just doing Wikipedia searches we're going out and on all fronts we find technical advisors that are willing to work with us to make sure we're doing the most, um, you know, realistic, you know, representation of, of what we're trying to do. Oh, yeah. No, I mean, you know, and, and that, that was something, like, I before I did Ghost Wars, I did a, I did a cop show called Motive. And, uh, you know, we were doing an episode where our uh, the lead of the series was directing for the first time, and she was really worried that we were going to upset somebody with the story. And it's kind of like, you're always going to upset somebody. Like, if there's one thing the internet has taught us is, you know, you, you are are going to anger one at least one person, probably a group, and they have a Reddit channel. So you know, you might as well just live with it and just just roll through it. And as long as you're going forward with the best intentions, that's you know that's that's what you have to sort of go back on. Is you know at least I wasn't trying to be a jerk. So. Mm -hmm. Do you have that in mind when you're writing it, or do you write the story first and then figure out the best way to do that? I don't know, with that, you know, energetic, yeah. like, vacation? Yeah, well, um, we start with the story, and we just we just make sure the story is fun, and then um, and then we wait for the effects house to come to us and say this is impossible, but we can do it this way, and then we go fuck you, let's find another way to do it, uh, or we go okay, I get it, it's like physically impossible to sm stuff somebody into their own mouth, uh, CGI, I guess. So you know, it's 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 we we let the. 
we let the story dictate what's going to happen and and you know you know the thing about TV production is is at some point budget's going to become an issue and, and you know sometimes you have to horse trade and it's, it, it's sort of like okay what am I willing to surrender in order to make sure I'm still getting that impact that I want at this moment and you know we just find those ways to 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 modify stuff <laughs> I mean, for myself, yeah, but it's basically they're all going to die. So, yeah, spoiler alert. You know, it's kind of like the Game of Thrones spoiler. It's like, they're going to die. You know, it's kind of like, it's kind of written on the wall, uh, you know. Yeah, no, I would just, I would just murder everybody. And, well, yeah, everybody. It would just be like, how do you, how do you, how do you lose a ghost war? Or conversely, how do you win a ghost war? So. Yes. Yeah. When I was nine, I saw a ghost when I was camping, and uh, yeah, and it was it was like in a cottage and. You know, it was one of those things where we'd heard a story, you know, a ghost story a couple of days earlier, and then I saw it. So it was always that thing of like, you know, my parents were like, "Well, that was your imagination." It's like, you know what? At 3 a.m., it doesn't fucking matter what it was. I was afraid. <laughs> Thanks, guys.